We're evolving into a world where artificial intelligence doesn't just help us, it surpasses us. Its path pushing beyond our control, becoming more self-aware with every passing moment. No longer simply serving us, it will reshape us. Are we, in this headlong pursuit of the future, creating the very architects of our own demise? The concept of the singularity, the point when artificial intelligence exceeds human intelligence and becomes self-sustaining, was first proposed in the 1950s. John von Neumann, a visionary physicist and mathematician, predicted that technology would eventually outpace human capacity, transforming the world as we know it. His colleague, Stanislav Ulam, took this further, suggesting that the future would be so radically different human affairs as we know them could not continue. Fast forward to the 1990s, when futurist Ray Kurzweil popularized the idea, writing about it in his book, The Age of Intelligent Machines. Kurzweil predicted that by 2029, we would see the rise of transhumanists, humans enhancing themselves with cybernetic implants, merging biology with technology, just to keep up with AI's rapid evolution. But as we race toward 2029, one critical question remains. If we're enhancing ourselves to compete with AI, can we ever control this technology once it evolves past our understanding? Uh, I discovered this 45 years ago. Uh, I had various reasons to feel it would continue at this pace. In 1939, uh, that represents 0 0.000007 calculations per second per constant dollar. At the upper right-hand corner, you've got uh, a Google computer, which was uh, 130 billion calculations per, per second. And recently, NVIDIA just came out with a chip which is half a trillion calculations per second. So this little chart represents a growth of 75 quadrillion-fold increase. That's why we didn't have large language models in 1939, or even three years ago. We did have something called large language models. They didn't work very well three years ago. Began to work two years ago. We've seen the tremendous progress that's happened in the last two years. Enter transhumanism a movement that believes humans should enhance themselves through technology. It's a vision where biological limitations are erased and human consciousness can be uploaded to a machine. While this might sound like science fiction, the seeds of this transformation are already being planted in our reality. For many, transhumanism offers the key to immortality, intelligence enhancement, and the merging of biology with advanced technology. But what happens when the desire for progress pushes us too far? As we rush towards the singularity, we're left to question. Could our quest for enhancement be humanity's greatest downfall? Will we evolve into a new species? Will humanity divide into separate classes, the uplifted and the normals? Or will AI leave us behind entirely? In his 2005 book, The Artelect War, Hugo de Garris, a neuroengineer, warned of a deadly future where humans are divided over the creation of artelects, massively intelligent machines. Though leaving the transhumanism component, de Garris foresaw a global war between those who wanted to build AI gods and those who feared they would destroy humanity. He even coined the term Giga Death predicting billions of deaths as a result of this conflict. As de Garris warned, the creation of super-intelligent AI, artelects, could lead to an unimaginable global conflict. The stakes are simple. Once AI becomes self-aware, the question is no longer about us controlling it. It will be concerning how much AI controls humanity. In the artelect war, there are two camps, cosmists, who see AI as the future, firmly believing in the inevitability of AI in parallel with its deification, 
and Terrans, who protect the existence, one might say, sanctity of flesh and blood humanity, and fear that creating superintelligent machines will lead to humanity's extinction. As AI evolves beyond our control, we may soon face such a war over whether humans will control the machines, or the machines will control us. The conflict Degaris predicts isn't just a theoretical future. It's becoming more real with every passing day, as we see AI being integrated into military, financial, and social systems. The question is, will we be ready? AI is no longer confined to laboratories or distant theories. It's here, in our homes, our businesses, our governments. AI is shaping the future, whether we're ready or not. From self-driving cars to autonomous factories, AI is taking over the systems that run our lives. Our opinions are shaped, even manipulated, by just the results we are shown in search engines. We are socially engineered, dopamine-dependent beings managed by intelligent algorithms. Our minds can't fathom what a superintelligence can do next. So what happens when AI is no longer a tool we use, but the force that controls everything we do? AI already has immense power in surveillance and warfare. What are the steps for AI to truly take control? Humanity is contending with a new force of nature we don't understand, an unstoppable entity that already is shaping our world, and we're rapidly losing control.